Hey guys, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is my best tips, tricks, and hacks for a sick baby. So it is cold and flu season and there are tons of germs going around and babies get sick. That is just a fact of life. Something you should know going in is that everyone's gonna catch a cold, hopefully not the flu, hopefully not the coronavirus or any of those crazy ones going around, but every little baby gets sick at one point or another. By the way, my little baby is here playing with humidifier, which is one of my tips. So I want to share with you guys some of the most helpful things you can do when your baby does get sick to help them feel better and to help them heal as quickly as possible. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Marian. I make videos about being a mom and being a Jewish mom. And I would love it if you hit that red subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Okay, so let's talk about germs and the best ways to avoid them. The best thing to do is to wash your hands with soap and water as often as you can, warm water, and wash for 30 seconds. It's a long time, but do your best. That's the best way to contain germs. Obviously, babies are touching all kinds of things, and you just want to help them out by keeping their hands clean, keeping your hands clean. And of course, I carry hand sanitizer with me. And in a normal cold and flu season where we're not worried about like super viruses, this is what I use, which is the Baby Ganex. This is alcohol-free hand sanitizer. It's actually foaming, which is just really nice, especially for older babies that don't like the um, liquid stuff. But it feels nice, it smells nice, and it does the job. So I love the Baby Ganex one. They also make wipes, so I carry these in my diaper bag at all times. And I also carry normal hand sanitizer for myself. Um, but especially if you're really worried about chemicals on your baby, I like these. But again, when we're in the midst of like the worst of the worst flu season, I'll switch to the good stuff. But washing hands is definitely best. Okay, so let's move on to what to do when your baby is actually sick because that's probably why you're here. So the first thing I wanted to recommend is a great thermometer. We use the Braun one. I love this one. I actually bought it for a second time because a certain baby smashed it on the floor once. And um, yeah, this is our second version. <laughs> but it's so good because it reads the temperature in about three seconds, literally. And it's got different different modes for 0 to 3, 3 to 36, and 36 months plus. Um, so it'll alert you if your baby has a fever. So if you put in 0 to 3 months and the fever reads over 100.3, that's a serious fever for a newborn infant and you need to call your doctor and you probably need to go to the hospital. Um, not to scare you, but it's really important to know this information. First, if you have an older baby and they have a temperature of 101, 102, you might still be fine with Tylenol. Of course, you should always call your pediatrician if you have any concern or if you can't remember what's um, a fever and what's not. So I'm going to put it at 3 to 36 months because that's how old my baby is right now. And I'm going to show you guys how I take his temperature. Um, he's playing, by the way, with something else I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, so all you have to do is stick it in their ear, press the button. Did you see that? That was like two and a half seconds. Uh, 98.4. Are you feeling good today? Yes, he's perfectly healthy today. Thank God. Um, so yeah, so this is my favorite thermometer. I love it. But what I also want to recommend is if you have a newborn infant to just get one like this and to take their temperature in their butt. Um, mm. An anal thermometer mm. is the only way to get a really accurate temperature reading on them. And because you're in that really fragile state of if they have a fever, you need to go to the hospital kind of thing for the under three month crowd. Um, I recommend that. All you do is put a little bit of aquaphor around. All you need to do is put a little aquaphor on the tip so it goes in a little bit smoother. Don't put it too far up their butt. You just want to put it in a tiny bit. Um, get that anal rectal thermometer reading and go from there. So if your baby does have a fever and your pediatrician's okayed it, you're going to be giving them Tylenol. So I just want to show you guys if it's your first time you've never given Tylenol to a baby. Don't worry, I'm not going to give him Tylenol right now. Um, there are no dosage guidelines on the bottle. So the Tylenol packaging does not tell you how much Tylenol to give to a baby under two years old. And it's because it says ask a doctor. So they want you to check with your pediatrician before administering Tylenol, which makes sense. But once you know it's okay and you just wanna know the dosage guidelines, um, I definitely recommend printing it out. It's between 1.25 and 3.75, all the way up to five milliliters. And all you have to do is stick it in the bottle, turn the bottle upside down, and pull 
this down slowly. It will fill it up. And then when it's time to give it to your baby, you wanna lay them down on your lap, put it in their mouth and slowly push it in. If you push it too fast, they're just gonna like spit it all out. It tastes very sweet. My babies have always liked it. Um, and I haven't had an issue giving it to them, but just go slow, give them a chance to swallow it and get used to it. If you have a real issue giving it to them, you can dilute it in a little bit of um, breast milk or formula, but you wanna be really careful doing that because if they don't drink all the milk, then you don't know how much medicine they've had and that gets into a whole tricky realm. So the best thing to do is syringe it right into their mouth, um, but super easy. Turn the bottle upside down to make sure you have the exact correct dosage. The other tip and trick I have for Tylenol is to get a little sticky note, put it right on the bottle and write what time they've had the medicine and how many milliliters and how many hours till they can have it again. Because when it's the middle of the night and your baby's sick, sometimes you're like, was it 12.30? 2.30? daylight savings I can't remember so just write it down to make sure that you do not overdose your baby <laughs> another tip I have when your baby has a fever is they want to keep them cool and keep them happy so we actually have a summer sleep suit um, that we use when our baby is sick that way they don't get overheated at night so it's very lightweight I also keep them in really light pajamas because I want to make sure that they don't get hotter than they already are when they're sleeping so keeping them cool and calm is a way to just make them feel good you don't want them to be cold but you want them to be cool another little tip I have uh, for babies who are feverish is to give them cold fruit um, I wanted to show you guys how I do this it's this little thing that they chew on with the mushed up fruit inside and they kind of chew it and it squeezes out a little bit at a time. I can't find mine at the moment. I think it's probably in the dishwasher, but I will link it or put up a picture so you can see what I'm talking about. But mushing on cold fruit when they're old enough for solids is just a nice way to sort of calm them down, give them something to do, while also giving them nutrients, vitamins, and hydration. Hydration is so key when your baby is sick. Okay, let's talk about congestion. This is a big thing when you've got the common cold for a baby. Um, what's so hard about congestion is it really prevents them from drinking or eating as much as you want them to be and nursing and um, drinking is so important for their hydration so my best tip for this is to get a really good humidifier so this one is I think safety first Yes, safety first, I'll link it below. This is my favorite one. We actually own three humidifiers in this house. Yeah, you like this one. This one is my favorite, so I put it next to their crib when they're sleeping. The other thing I do is give them a bath right before I nurse, or I'll even nurse in the bathroom with the shower running um, if it's desperate time. So, so we'll just sit in the bathroom with the shower running so there's lots of moisture in the air to clear their um, nasal passages so that they can nurse um, well and get that milk that they need. Another tip I have for congested babies is using saline. This really, really helps. I'll show you, this is actually a new, do I have an old? So it comes in a bottle like this. All you do is lay the baby down and squirt this up their nose. They're not gonna like it, I'm just warning you, but it really helps. Use this especially like right before you nurse. Um, lay them back, let the saline go up into their nasal passage um, and let it clear the way so that they can eat. If your baby's a little bit older, you can use boogie mist. I really like this because it really gets the saline up there. It like squirts out. Um, my babies really don't like this, but it works really well. So if you have an older baby that can tolerate this, I like this one a lot. Speaking of that company, they also make boogie wipes, which is great for getting those like crusty boogers off. It has natural saline on the wipes themselves. Um, they also smell kind of nice. And yeah, so I use these like in the morning when they've got a lot of congestion going on just to clear everything out. Throughout the day, this is one of my tips. You guys might find this controversial, but I use a hanky. I don't use tissues on my baby. And that is because their skin is so delicate. Glory, it's playing with the so humidifier. Their skin is so delicate and they're already in so much pain and frustration. And when you're wiping and wiping with a tissue and it just gets red and raw, it only makes things worse. Yes, you can put on Aquaphor and that really helps, but I love this. This is actually a face cloth. I will link it below, it's from Amazon. The brand is Kinhua or something. Um, they are the softest things in the world and this is what I use to wipe their nose with all that dribble that comes down um, so that it's soft and doesn't bother them. So those are all my tips for when your baby is sick to help them feel better and get better soon. Having a sick baby is the worst. Being sick yourself when your baby is sick is torture. So for all the moms out there watching this, I have a sick baby right now. I'm so sorry. I hope they feel better soon. It's just the fact that, Glory, I'm trying to give an outro there. 
just a fact of life that babies get colds and stuff like that. But I hope this video has helped you learn some easy ways to help them feel better. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!